first thing I did is, of course, type, type your name into Google. <laughs> and I started typing Missy Cummings. And as you know, Google has autocompletes. When you type something, they, <laughs> they, they think they know what you want to maybe complete your search with. And so the top completion was Missy Cummings space and then Elon Musk. <laughs> Why is that, you think? <laughs> I think that's so interesting because I, you know, I mean, it's possible that Elon Musk has heard my name. I can't imagine. He's so busy. I can't imagine that he really knows who I am. Uh, but I'm, I'm basically the albatross around his slash Tesla's neck. And I want to be clear that I actually love Tesla as a company. Um, I really appreciate the disruption that he's bringing to the automotive industry. And I'm 100% behind him disrupting car manufacturing and selling and EVs. I, I'm all behind him. And I absolutely love what he's doing in SpaceX. Mm -hmm. That being said, you know, the he relies on cool whiz bang new technologies to kind of keep people excited about Tesla's and this is where autopilot um, has he and I have started to cross you know proverbial um, swords over autopilot and full self-driving and indeed the latest um, where I'm going after him is his desire to drop radar out of his cars and now go to vision only which you know there's there's not a research I know a lot that does re vision research who doesn't think that that is crazy and going to kill someone. And so I, I like him as a person. I like what he's doing with his companies, but he is also, you know, as a, as the central point of focus and the hype driver, he's also spreading some, I think, dangerous at least perceptions about what sell, what his car is capable of and by proxy, what potentially other cars are capable of. Now, that, that's of course, like you're concerned about, about the humans in the car, but kind of double click on, on this for, for a moment. Um, the Tesla autonomous car is, is possibly, I mean, it's hard to compare exactly, but it's, it's possibly one of the most advanced self-driving cars. Uh, when we compare the different efforts out there. Uh, yet you're very specifically concerned about the Tesla one, it seems less so about others. Um, can you say a bit more about why, why there's maybe more concern there? Well, even Tesla would tell you um, their cars are not self-driving. They are driving assist, right? So when you buy a Tesla, you have to sign all sorts of documents that, you know, where you swear that you know that the car cannot drive itself. So when you say Tesla, Tesla does embed some technologies that maybe could be self-driving one day. And indeed, Elon has said that he wants to do a robo-taxi model and thus be able to use your, you know, you can let your car drive itself and make money while you're at work, which I actually think conceptually is a fantastic idea. Uh, unfortunately, in the practical impl implementation, it's a disaster. Uh, it, I am not, Elon Musk is not the only person who doesn't like me. Um, John Krapik from Waymo, who just resigned from Waymo. Uh, John always, he was always super sweet to me in person, but I can only imagine, you know, like I was a massive pain in his side when he was the CEO. And that's because I also went after Waymo uh, and Uber and other companies when they started making claims about what their technologies were capable of. And I am 100% about innovation. I'm a professor. I'm a futurist. You know, I, it's my goal. I try to generate patentable um, designs and inventions, just like most professors in engineering. However, I think that in the case of self-driving vehicles, and I want to step back because that's not the only area I do research in. I'm actually um, heavily invested in all things related to drones, uh, autonomy as it's used in medical systems and manufacturing systems. So I look across multiple domains and unquestionably computer vision, while it is making a lot of progress, we are just simply not there in terms of having vision systems replace not just your eyes, but also your brain. And that's in fact where, where the real problem is, is that, you know, you can't treat camera sensors like replacement for eyes because there's so much going on in terms of projection and imagination and judgment under uncertainty and knowledge. 
And we're, you know, we're making progress with machine learning and computer vision. And I, 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 and if the car man industry had not invested a, so much money, I, I, I've lost count of its billions of dollars in this industry. It has been great for helping move research forward, but it's still research that, and that's the problem. <laughs>